Okay guys, Tech Zero Sickies Glue here and I'm going to show you how you can activate or deactivate the TouchFlow or HTC Sense user interface because a lot of people are complaining about the lag on it. I have oh, didn't touch the screen. I have done a couple of videos on how you can get rid of the lag or minimize it at least and you can also flash the new Modarco ROM. Um, there's another video up I've got that shows you how to do that. But if you still don't like it and you want to go back to the classic Android one, this is how you can do it safely and you can also easily revert back to Sense should you wish. So the first thing you want to do is go to the link in the sidebar and download Unlock version 2 and drop down your SD card and you want to go into it using a file manager. I'm going to use Astro, you can use anyone you want. And you want to find the location of the file. So here it is. Lock 2.0, open it, install it, let that install. This isn't the only app you can use to do it, I just find it's the easiest because you can drop it as an APK on your SD card and easily like uninstall it, install it whenever you want. So when you've done that, you want to hit your home button, no, you want to hit open, sorry, hit open. And then once this is started, you can click Home, and you get an options. You get Home, which is Android Home, TouchFlow, or this one in the middle, which you don't want to hit. Because if you do, um, I think you have to reflash your ROM to get back. I'm not sure, but it's just not good. So if you're going from TouchFlow, as I am, to Home, you want to hit Home. And here you have the classic Android home screen where you can add widgets it's exactly the same as the G1 and the Magic, the original Android cupcake or donut as I think it is now um, so but you've still got this home so you hit this, use default hit home and you're now defaulted back to going to this so if you go into an application hit home you automatically go back to the classic Android screen and then, then if you want to get rid of this you go back to your file manager open up um, that unlock file it's going a tad slow there we go reopen this up and as soon as that opens hit uninstall I suggest you uninstall it when you've set the home screen to either home or touch flow, whichever one you want, as it does seem to slow the phone down quite a bit if you've still got it installed. But as it's, you've got it as this APK on your storage card, you can easily redo this to set it back to touch flow or to the home. So uninstall it. Okay, hit the home button, and you'll get this option again. So I'm going to change back to touch flow, use by default touch flow and you've got the touch flow interface back and if you click home for an application you go straight back there so that's just a quick video on how you can set your home screen to different user interfaces if you want to disable this or re-enable it, re -enable it if you somehow lost it um, any questions just comment or message me um, and I'm going to use this as a quick thing to do a shout out to androidapk.co.cc I've mentioned it in a couple of my videos, um, this is where you're going to download this lot program from and I just want to say it's pretty good, it's one of the best APK websites I've got, a couple of the links don't work but as a whole they work really well and I know the guy who set this up, he's contacted me and he's pretty cool and he just asked me to raise awareness of his site, if any of you guys have any apps just message me, I can tell him and I can get you, um, I can get you together and he can um, put the apps up on the website so hoping to get that website even bigger, get more apps as it's helping you, me, him, everyone on Android. So that's just a quick shout out. So thanks for watching this. Tech Series Seekers Glue. See you guys later.